Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doo 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 doo. Subscribe if you're interested, but also no pressure. But if you did, I would greatly appreciate it. Hey, I think we're gonna do a random ranking. And today's random ranking, well basically what a random ranking is, is when we go to my movie collection behind me and pick out three movies at random and then rank those movies based on whatever criteria we come up with. But I think what we'll do is pick three films from the bottom shelf. I was noticing the other day that that area gets neglected a little bit. So I think maybe that's where our three films should come from. So again, as always, I'll rank them here in the video. But if you would like to rank them in the comments below, please feel free to do so. Ooh, I feel a snapper. We've been getting snappers a lot lately, I feel like. Let's see, oh my goodness, did I just pull a third snapper? You know what, where I'm at here, let's make sure I've seen these. The heck is this? Oh, uh, I think I put this on one day, but I don't remember actually watching it. Uh, okay, gosh, I feel like maybe I don't. I don't know. I was gonna say I feel like I always pull one of these. Oh, I feel a slip. All right. Oh, that's gonna be a fun one to talk about. All right, we got him. So, here we go. Ooh. <laughs> Let's get to ranking these movies, talking about them. First we have Lord of War. You know what I really like about this movie? Is the opening credit sequence where we watch the making of a bullet. Um, and then, well, then I guess if I remember correctly where it ends up. But this also has some sort of cool like metallicness to it in the clouds. Um, but yeah, I always liked this movie a lot. Um, Jared Leto's in it. He's playing Nick Cage's little brother. Like, I mean, I feel like it's just a general, generic, um, generic is, sounds like critical. I don't mean that in that sort of way. I just mean it's like, I don't know. It's uh, commercial. There we go. A nice commercial film. And I don't know. I just, I, I felt like it was easy, good viewing, and I really like the opening credit sequence. Next we have... The Lords of Flatbush. I almost said Dogtown. Isn't that a movie? Um, so, a little coming of age story. The cool thing about this is we have the Fonz here looking like the Fonz. And we also have Sly Stallone right there. Um, so, yeah, I've, I think, have I seen this twice or just once? I can't remember. I feel like I've seen it multiple times, but maybe just one time. Uh, but yeah, I remember buying this because I was like, whoa, this was one of the movies he made before Rocky. Gotta check it out. But, you know, just a nice little coming of age story. Um, and I'm trying to remember if it's kind of like, I'm trying to think of like movies like, um, you know, I guess kind of like a... Uh, American Graffiti or Saturday Night Fever, you know, it's just like things are moving forward. Moving forward, people want to stay young, but they also need to grow up sort of thing, which happened a lot younger at, back then. So these are our young guys thinking like, you know, right, time to time to move ahead and, you know, get ready, get ready to, to start my life, that sort of thing. Some people and others aren't trying to go for that. Next, we have Steve Jobs. So this movie was kind of interesting. It was told in like three parts and I feel like there was, didn't Danny Boyle direct this? And there were like three different uh, film stocks used for the different sections of the movie. Uh, I remember not being that into this. Someone here says Steve Jobs is brilliant. The man or the film? Um, but I don't know. I think I like liked the movie as I was watching it, but I, I don't even know if I've ever returned to it. But I did buy it, clearly. But it looks like I bought it for five bucks. Maybe I got it for, on sale, also. Uh, even cheaper than that. But, I don't know. Um, Kate Winslet, I remember. I remember there was talk around, and I feel like I participated in this, where her accent sort of jumped around. But also, I think researching the person um, that she's playing, that might make sense. I, you know, heard that discussed as well so you know I don't know anything about accents I just I have my own but 
Uh, Jeff Daniels? I don't even remember Jeff Daniels in this movie. Who's Jeff Daniels in this? Anyway, I think I already know how I'm going to rank these, but let's see. So, these two are in question. Um, actually, I don't think so. Okay, I like the idea of the three film stocks. So I think, feel like I like that in concept. Um, but I, I don't know. I remember watching the movie and then thinking like, I don't know, I feel like something's missing or it just didn't feel profound enough or I, I don't even know. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Lord of War. Oh my goodness. Did I, it's like I picked three, two movies next to each other. Lord of War, the Lords of Flatbush. Look at that, Lord, Lord. So um, I think I'm going to go Lord of War, number one. I, I just fe always felt like it's an easy watch, and I really like that opening credit sequence. And then I'm going to go Lords of Flatbush, just a coming of AIDS, age tale. Um, and, you know, we've seen movies like it before, but it's also really cool to see a very young uh, Winkler and Stallone. And then I'm going to go Steve Jobs. Uh, I, I think also I've had a lot of distance from that movie because, I mean, I may have watched this DVD, but the only thing I can remember for the last time I watched it was seeing it in a theater. So, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, I, it's like one that I need to, like, revisit, I guess, just to see how I feel on it to this day. But as time has passed, I've cared less and less about it, and I feel like I'm a little negative on it. Um, but I, I feel like I was sort of neutral on it, other than the idea of the different film stocks. So, okay, one more time, Lord of War, then The Lords of Flatbush, and then Steve Jobs. This is the one with Michael Fassbender, not the one with Ashton Kutcher. Anyway, so my question to you is, have you seen these movies, these three right here? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below, and perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.